Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use banking apps on your rooted Android device running Android 13. Now do note all the applications, all the relevant links, whatever we are using in this video, all that information can be found in the description of this video and this here is the Google Pixel 6a which right now is running Android 13 and it is rooted using magisk and as you can see our safety net is passing without any issues and we can also use our banking apps without any issues so once you've finished watching this video you should be good to go with all the banking apps which you have been using or want to use on your rooted android device running android 13. all right so here it is this is our application yet another safety net attestation checker and let us run a safety net check so android version as you can see is 13. safety net is failing eval type is hardware backed basic is failing and cts is also failing first thing we need to do is we will go into magisk here and go into settings scroll down enable zygisk once that is done enable the enforce denialist then go into configure denialist herein for starters choose the application for which you want to hide root in my case my banking app is this one yono light so i'm going to check that then tap on the three dot menu on the top right select show system applications once this is done tap on the search here and you need to search for play services once you search for services play services you will see google play services tap on that enable the toggle for the first option which is com.google.android.gms and then scroll down to the same thing for com.google.android.gms.unstable and at this point we can reboot our device so with android 13 you can of course reboot your device from your quick settings panel as well now once the device has rebooted we can go back into magisk and make sure that our changes are still there so we have zygisk enabled and first denialist is enabled if we go into configure we have google play services and our application let us run another safety net check and see what happens so as you can see basic is now passing and cts is failing because we have hardware backed safety net attestation for some of you if you do not have hardware backed safety net attestation and it is basic it might pass at this time which means you are successfully passing safety net now those of us who are still not passing safety net because we have hardware backed safety net attestation or eval type we need to fix this now how do you fix this the fix is very easy you go to the link which is linked in the description of the video this here is the releases page of universal safety net fix by k dragon so the latest version at the time of recording this video is version 2.3.1 you go into the assets section in case it is not expanded tap on the arrow it will be expanded and you download this file safety net fix version 2.3.1 we do not need the source code we need just this file this is a magisk module so next up we will go into magisk go to the home page of magisk go into modules select install from storage and then three bar menu on the top left and then select your device's name in my case it is the google pixel 6a go into download here and scroll and look for the magisk module which we have just downloaded which is our safety net fix and once the module has installed successfully we are going to reboot our device one more time now that the device has rebooted we can go back into magisk and we're going to check for our module so universal safety net fix is installed and it is enabled if i go into the configure deny list you will notice that google play services has disappeared from here and that is absolutely fine i can now run another safety net attestation check using our favorite application and as you can see basic is passing cts is passing and our eval type changed from hardware to basic which is pretty good news means we are successfully passing safety net on our rooted android device now in certain cases even if your attestation type is set as basic even then your cts is going to 
fail well in that case it is mainly due to you running a custom rom and the developer is not using the correct rom fingerprint so you have another magisk module called magisk height props config so this is the xda page we just selected this and the file has been downloaded successfully next thing we need to do is we need to install this magisk module so we are going to open magisk go into modules and then install from storage three bar menu on the top left select your device's name in my case pixel 6a go into the download folder and here it is magisk height props config install the module once the module has installed successfully the next thing we need to do is we are going to reboot our device once the device has rebooted of course we are going to double check that our magisk height props config module is installed and it is enabled next thing you need to do is you will open the google play store and herein we are going to look for an application called termex now this is a terminal emulator application and i have it installed already so i selected open and once that is done we need to give this super user request so we are going to type in su and press the enter key again for me it is automatically getting super user request because i have allowed it in the past for you it is going to show you a pop-up for allow magisk access to this application and you need to enable that once that is done we need to type in over here props so p r o ps is what we need to type in and press the enter key so now at this point magisk hide props config application is being loaded now herein you have a bunch of different options the option which we are looking for is editing the device fingerprint so we are going to type in one over here and press the enter key now as you can see mine is set to blue j so this is a google pixel device in your case it might be something else the fingerprint which you need to use is from a google device which has gotten android 13 officially so let us select try f for pick a certified fingerprint so type in f and press the enter key now this here is our list in this list we need to look for google so google is at number seven so we are going to type in seven and press the enter key so there it is you can see these are the google pixel devices but unfortunately at the time of recording this video the developer needs to update their app so that they have fingerprints for android 13 and that is what you select so let us say i select the google pixel 5 because it has multiple options so let me select 26 over here and then i'm going to press the enter key now you can choose what android version you want one or two and if there is android 13 then it will be option number three so you select that option press the enter key and reboot your device and that is going to change the device fingerprint on your device again you can always ask your custom rom developer to use a fingerprint which lets you pass the basic attestation next thing i recommend you do is clear all the data for our play services and for our google play store so for the google pixel 6a running android 13 we will go into settings apps see all apps three dot menu on the top right select show system and here and we are going to search for the google play and once you search for play the first thing is google play services go into this go into storage and cache manage space clear all data select okay once that is done we can go back and make sure that show system is still enabled and the next thing we can do is we will search for play one more time this time around go into google play store go into storage and cache clear storage delete all the data for the google play store as well now another pro tip over here is to go into the application info for the banking app which is giving you issues and you can repeat the same steps go into storage and cache and clear storage for the banking app as well and then we need to reboot our device one more time so here it is let us reboot our device back into android we can run another safety net attestation check to see if anything changed with that regard and as you can see nothing has changed in that regard
The next thing we can do is we can try to open our banking application to see if it is wanting to cooperate now. In my case, it does not want to open yet. So one last trick is you go into Magisk, you go into settings and here in you select hide the Magisk app, enable this toggle, allow from this source and then we can go back. You can give it any name which you want to. So this is going to hide the Magisk app and some applications out there have added checks that hey, if the Magisk app is installed means the device is rooted. So I'm giving this the name Munchie select ok it is hiding the magic cap it will take some time and here it is allow munchie to send you notifications of course with android 13 apps cannot just send you notifications they have to get your permission and do you want to add a shortcut to the home screen i'm going to say ok over here select add to home screen and now if i want to access magisk i can of course access it from here but let us try this banking app one more time there it is i'm not getting the rooted message it is telling me there is no sim in my device which means our banking app at this point should be working like a boss and in case it is still not working for you then you would need another magisk module called shamiko and how to use your banking apps with shamiko video for that can be found in the description of this video and there it is peeps that is how you run banking apps on your rooted devices running android 13 and that will do it for this one hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you.